Hello, thank you for stopping by Kyle's blog. This is Kyle's 59th video. In this video, I'm going to begin in the book of Matthew, chapter 20, beginning with verse 29. And in this video, I'm going to show the importance of perseverance and effort in prayer. Matthew 20, beginning with verse 29, says, And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou Son of David. And the multitude rebuked them, because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou Son of David. And Jesus stood still and calmed them, and said, What will ye that I shall do unto you? They say unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion on them, and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. So what do we see here in this first set of scriptures? We see perseverance shown by these two blind men. We see here Jesus is departing from Jericho, a great multitude following him. These two blind men, knowing that Jesus is passing by, and knowing that Jesus is one who is able to perform great miracles such as healing the blind, these two blind men then choose to cry out and call out to the Lord in hopes that they may be healed. When they begin to cry out to Jesus, what happens? A group of people come and rebuke them, telling them to hold their peace, to stay quiet. But the two blind men, instead of listening to these people, continue to cry out to Jesus. And in doing so, Jesus turns and calms them, and sure enough, he heals them and they receive their sight. These two blind men made sure that they were going to receive that connection with Jesus to receive, to receive their desired effect. What does this mean for us? It means that perseverance is needed in prayer. Because we better believe that when we wish to seek the Lord for something, that the enemy is going to wish to distract us and to cut us off from that special time that we would have with God. When we desire something, Again, remember this, the devil and enemy is going to seek to do things to distract us so that we don't seek God and spend that special time with God to receive whatever it is that we would desire. Another scripture that I want to show is in Matthew chapter 7 beginning with verse 7. I've just shown perseverance and now I'm going to show a form of effort that's needed in prayer. Matthew 7 beginning with verse 7 says, Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. This showing here in these two verses is the importance of effort and prayer. You know, sometimes in prayer it might not just work just to say a two-minute prayer. At times we may need to spend serious, serious time with God, not only in prayer but with the Word at our side, getting ready to seek the Word for answers. At times in prayer we may pray to God and then we might have to surf the internet for some answers depending on what it is that we're seeking. At times also we may need to fast. Fast for what? Fast to get over on the flesh so that we're not controlled by the flesh when we're spending our time with God. And these things, it's very, very important and understand this, that perseverance, that continue seriousness, and seeking God in things, that perseverance, not letting anything get in the way when we're seeking God for something, but also the effort that's needed. It's not always just a simple prayer. Sometimes there might have to be the Word of God. Sometimes we might have to do something ourselves, like I just said as an example, using the internet to, to find answers for something. But also, too, fasting may be needed, something to get over on the flesh so that we're not controlled by the flesh and things. So in all this, remember, perseverance and effort is greatly needed in our prayers so that we can continually seek God for things and not be overcome by the devil and the enemy. I thank you for stopping by Kyle's blog. God bless. Have a great week.